Today we're going to talk about NAPLAN's first test, writing. In this video, I'm going to give a fairly brief summary of some of the basic things you'll need to do to do well in the NAPLAN writing assessment. A more advanced video on NAPLAN narrative writing will come in future. Firstly, the writing assessment will either be a narrative or a persuasive. A narrative is a story, whilst a persuasive is a text where you try and persuade the reader into having the same view on a topic as you. Given most NAPLAN writing assessments have been narratives, this video will be about narratives. It is important to consider the audience. The audience is who the text or the story is directed towards, which of course is adults. An adult will mark the work so whilst younger children may write something that their year three or year five peers may enjoy, it may not be familiar to the adults that will do the marking. One such example is a student that I tutored who described a character who's very similar to the gun skibbity toilet. This is something some young people will know of, but for most adults, such a description will only be strange and weird. It would be much better to use more familiar descriptions, such as that of humans, knights, dragons, giants, or even real life animals. The purpose of a narrative is to entertain. Think of what books, movies, and TV shows have entertained you before. Now, entertaining someone with words can be tricky, which is why you really need to think about the exciting settings and characters that will be in your story, as well as the events that will take place. Use a high amount of detail in describing them so the reader can find it easier to imagine what things are like in your story. In very simple terms, a narrative can be broken up into three main parts. An introduction where you introduce the main characters and the setting. So, who is in the story and where and when is the story taking place? The middle of the story can have the introduction to the main problem that the main character faces. This can take place within the introduction also, but it shouldn't happen too far from the beginning of the story as the problem is the major focus of the story. The main character has a big problem. How are they going to overcome it? There should also be some events that take place. These should relate to the problem. The end should have the resolution to the problem, which means the problem being solved. If the problem is that the main character is lost, the problem would be resolved when they are not lost anymore. If the main problem is a bad guy character that is evil to everyone, perhaps defeating this character will be how the problem is resolved. In summary, make sure that your story excites and entertains. Describe it in a way that interests the reader. Describe your characters and settings well. Have a beginning, middle and end to your story. Make sure the problem in the story is resolved and don't make things weird. Remember that an adult is marking your work, so try and include things that an adult might be familiar with. So think of using things from well-known books or fairy tales instead of from obscure video games or YouTube videos. Thank you so much for your time. Just leave any questions in the comments below.